Hey everyone, here we have a coding challenge that we're going to be working through in today's video. So we need to write a function called merge arrays that takes two lists of integers as inputs, combines them, removes the duplicates, and sorts the combined list and returns it. So I have a series of tests down here that'll call our function to test to see if we've passed or not. Okay, so let's start off by defining our function. So let's call it merge arrays and we'll have array A and array B as our input variables. So in here, the first thing we're going to do is just combine our two input arrays at first. So let's define a new variable called array C and just set that equal to array A plus array B. Okay, so now that we've got a new combined list, we need to remove any duplicates. So one quick trick for doing this in Python is to just turn this array C into a set. Sets, by nature, remove any duplicates due to being stored in a hash table. I recommend checking out my video on why this happens to learn more. Okay, so let's do array D is equal to set with array C as the input. And then, once it's turned into a set, all the duplicates are removed. Let's then turn it back into a list. So at this point, we've combined the two input lists, we've removed the duplicates by turning it into a set, and then we've turned it back into a list. Now we need to sort the list. So now let's do array E is equal to sorted with array D as the input. So this sorted function is a built-in function in Python. It returns a new list containing all the items from an iterable like lists, tuples, strings, or sets, and sorts them in ascending order. Okay, so now that we've sorted the list, now we can return array E. All right, so I think we're done. So let's run our tests. And there we go, we got all passed. All right, so you can probably see we can actually clean this function up quite a bit. I can actually combine a bunch of these steps. So let me just erase all of this. And now let's do array A plus array B, and let's turn this into a set immediately when they're combined. Then once it's turned into a set, let's then use the sorted function to sort this set. Now you may be asking, wait, shouldn't I turn this set into a list first? Well, remember, the sorted function takes any iterable like this set and returns a sorted list in ascending order. So there's really no need to turn it into a list before using this sorted function because the sorted function is going to do it for me. Okay, and that's it. Now we can just return this one liner. So let's run our test again. And there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed working through this challenge with me and maybe you learned something new. If you did, be sure to drop a like. I encourage you to think of other solutions to this challenge. I've added the code to my GitHub, link below if you wanted to try it out yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.